Hi, and welcome back to Washington County Public Schools Twitter training. Today we're going to take a look at how to download Twitter onto your phone, how to get logged in, and how to get your Twitter and your Facebook accounts to talk to each other. So let's start by going to the App Store. And when we get to the App Store, I think the easiest thing to do is to go to your search button, type in Twitter, and you can see that I am in the process of downloading the actual app. I had to take it off my phone for demonstration purposes, but it is downloading right now. Yours will say Get if you do not have it on your phone. So push Get and it will begin the download process. You might be able to tell that I'm at home with two teenagers today and they are streaming live video in their rooms. So if you can hang tight, I'll be back with you in just one moment. Okay, we are back and we are done downloading the Twitter app. I can either open it from here or I can search for it on my phone. And with the iPhone, it does usually download into the next available spot. Here's mine next to my Snapchat. So I'm gonna go into Twitter and the first thing it asks you to do is either sign up or log in. Since we've already created our accounts, we're going to log in. And let's put our information in. I usually use my email. Okay, and now we see that our account has been verified. And there we go. We can now send out tweets. So I'll tweet out. Just finishing up a Twitter vid video on using QuickTime. Okay, and there we go. It, it is now posted. Okay, moving right along. We have now downloaded Twitter to our phone, we've logged into that account, and now we want to take some time and discover how we can have our Twitter account communicate with our Facebook account. So to get started, simply log into your Twitter account, which I have done. I'm going to come up to my right hand corner where I see the picture of myself, or you may have just an icon. Either way, go ahead and click on it, and you'll get an option to choose settings. So please choose settings here. And when you do that, a new window will open up on your left-hand side. Please come down and select Apps. And from here, you can click Connect to Facebook. So, Connect to Facebook. Since I'm already logged into Facebook on my computer, I can click OK. If you're not, it's going to ask you to sign in. It says, who do you want to share posts with? I just want to share them with my friends, but you do have a couple of other options here. And click OK. Okay, and now you can see you have two more options that you must select. You can either post retweets to Facebook. If you don't want to do the retweets, uncheck that box. You can also post to my Facebook profile. So you can either check that or leave it unchecked. I usually leave them checked. If you decide at some point that you do not want to have your Twitter posting to your Facebook, you follow the same process. Come back into Twitter, click on your icon, come to Settings, choose Apps, and then cl click on Disconnect. Okay. Now just to test out our theory and show you that this worked, I'm going to go back to my home page. I'm going to type in a tweet. Okay, I'm going to tweet it out. Okay, you can see that it did indeed go out. Now when I go to my Facebook and I update, there it is, gobble gobble. Hope your Thanksgiving was amazing. Okay, so to wrap things up, as a reminder, today we downloaded the Twitter app to your phone, we connected your account, and then we allow Twitter to communicate with your Facebook page. I hope you'll tune in next time as we get into a few more advanced topics. Thanks for watching.